Well, we think these crystal markers contain a super saturated solution of sodium acetate. Now, sodium acetate is a weak base. So we think that if we test and see if the residue formed by these markers contains a weak base, that's some evidence that our idea is correct, that yes, indeed, these do contain the weak base sodium acetate. Now to show you how we're going to do this test, we're going to use an indicator called bromothymol blue. In this beaker here I have a little bit of water. I'm going to add a few drops of the indicator, bromothymol blue. Okay. And bromothymol blue is a useful indicator because it's going to change yellow in solutions that are slightly acidic such as this one. It's going to be green in a neutral and blue in a base. Now you might ask why is water acidic? Well, uh, water that's been exposed to carbon dioxide, which is in the air in small amounts, uh, will turn slightly acidic and that's because when carbon dioxide dissolves in water it forms an acid called carbonic acid. So this water's been hanging out in the air for quite some time. Carbonic, or excuse me, the carbon dioxide from the air has gotten into the water, and uh, in fact, all water exposed to to air is going to get slightly acidic, such as this here. Okay, we're first going to take some of this water with the bromothymol blue indicator, and we're going to add it to this beaker, and then I'm going to add a few crystals of sodium acetate. That's what we think's in these crystal markers. So I'm going to add a crystal of pure sodium acetate to this water over here with the bromothymol blue indicator. I'm going to swirl that around and certainly you see that uh, the bromothymol blue has turned a greenish blue color, maybe slightly uh, blue, no, not much green at all. And that blue color indicates that sodium acetate is a base and in fact it is a weak base. Now if this contains sodium acetate then this should show a similar effect with the uh, uh, with the bromothymol blue indicator. So what I'm going to do to collect some of this residue is I'm just going to go ahead and draw the marker onto this glass pane. We're going to wait for that to crystallize. I'm going to try to get as much residue on the glass pane as possible. Okay, there we can see it's starting to go. It's taking a little while. There it goes, crystals growing in. I'll put it, whoop, put it right there. Let you have to watch those crystals grow in. It's beautiful. Again, we think that these markers uh, contain a super saturated solution of sodium acetate. So I think this is just sodium acetate crystallizing out on the on the glass pane, plane, uh, glass pane. All right. Now I want to get this residue into this central beaker here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a dropper and take this indicator here or the uh, water with the indicator in it, and I'm going to drip this down the pane and let that run into the central beaker. As I'm doing this, you might notice that this beaker over here, which started out quite bluish, has now faded to a green color. And the reason why that's happening is as I'm doing these experiments, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is uh, getting into the solution and it's neutralizing the weak base that uh, we dissolved in it, the weak sodium acetate uh, base. That happens a lot with uh, slightly basic solutions that are exposed to air. Alright, I think there's a little more on this pan I'm going to try to get in. There we go. So now what I've done is I've collected the residue from the crystal marker into this center beaker. And now we'll 
it's hard to see the color now because it's been diluted. So I'm going to go ahead and add some bromothymol blue indicator to this center beaker. And sure enough, we note that the color has changed to a bluish green color, indicating the presence of a weak base in the crystal effect uh, crystal effects marker. So while this doesn't prove <clears throat> that there's sodium acetate in the crystal markers, it is some more evidence. We saw that sodium acetate, uh, the weak base sodium acetate, will turn bromothymol blue, a bluish green color, and you can see as I'm swirling it, I'm dissolving a little more of the crystals in there, coloring it a slight blue. And we also saw the same effect here with the crystal effects windows marker. That's also going to turn the bromothymol blue a bluish or a green color.